Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It is currently December 23rd, so it's Christmas Eve Eve. And I'm so excited. Today is going to be a very festive vlog. We have all of the Christmas festivities happening today. We're currently on our way to go grab a bite to eat really quick and then we have to drop a package off, just do like a couple of last minute Christmas things. And then we are heading home. I'm like in my comfy clothes. I'll show you my outfit when I get home. But we are doing like a full Christmas day. So I am going to show you all of the gifts that I got people for Christmas, wrap the presents, we're gonna make cookies. I'm gonna end my night with a Christmas movie and cozying up with my Christmas lights. It's just gonna be like a very festive, good Christmas day. Don't you think? It's like Christmas Well, whatever. Chris, this is like us Christmas getting Eve Eve day. Christmas Eve Eve day. We're like really getting in the Christmas spirit today. Tomorrow's gonna be really fun. I'm really just, I, I, even though the holidays are very different this year, and I'm sending love to all of you that aren't able to be with your families or live somewhere that's not close or anything like that. I'm not seeing any of my like extended family, I guess you could call it, like my aunts or uncles or anything like that. Family. Yeah, it's just my immediate family. Yes. Like just like my mom, dad, and Eddie's mom and dad and our brother and sisters. Like that's it, that's what we're doing for Christmas. So we're keeping it very, very small. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I am definitely thinking of all of you that are alone on Christmas or you know things are just different and it just it really sucks but I am hopeful that once 2020 is over hopefully things start getting better in 2021 but anyway I just really wanted to intro this vlog really quickly before we get to eat and get on with our day making our Christmas memories I'm officially a plant mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited. I got a plant, I got a pot. It's so I cute. I got cookies. We'll show you in the car. All right, gotta buckle the baby in. Here we go, Eddie, gotta buckle her in. There she goes. Now you better drive careful. She might move around. Back in the car, I have my new baby in the back seat buckled in. And I'll show you guys some of the other goodies that we got. It was like this little local, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's like a little local market that we went to. It was super cool and super cute. So we got some little cookies in there. I got one and then I think Eddie picked out two. So this one is Eddie's. This one is called Sin City. It's like a huge cookie. And then he got this other one that is just like a huge chocolate chip cookie. These look so good. And I got this one. This one is just so cute, which is why I picked it out. It's like a little cookie monster. Like how stinking adorable is that? So I picked out this little cookie and that is everything that we got. I was not planning on spending that much money, but it happened. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. You guys already know I've worked with Skillshare many, many times in the past and I truly love the company and just the learning community that they have over there. If you don't already know, Skillshare is a online space where you can take so many different classes. My favorite part about it is that it's a lot of creative type classes that might be more difficult to learn on your own. So having somewhere that you can go and take all of these different classes is really really nice they have all kinds of different classes that they offer they have film video different graphic design classes illustration photography especially with the new year coming up it's definitely one of my new year's goals is to take more classes and to learn more i really like their photography classes i'm currently taking the hand lettering in procreate class which i have been so obsessed with you guys know i love procreate on my ipad and i love doodling on that and this class has been so awesome to teach me how to do hand lettering and different sketches and styles. It's something that I wanna get a lot more into this year and having a class that literally teaches me all the basics of how to use Procreate and how to hand letter. So amazing, I highly recommend you go check it out. Definitely make sure to go check it out and give it a try. The first 1,000 of you that click the link in my description box get a free 
trial of the premium membership. So I definitely recommend it. It's free. And thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. All right, we're back home now. I'll just show you my outfit that I had on really quickly because I'm about to change. I just have on this cardigan. This is from Lulu's. It's like my favorite cardigan of all time. I just have on a plain white t-shirt, some leggings, and then I had on my little Puma sneakers and my favorite sneakers. But now that I'm home, I'm going to change probably just into a comfy t-shirt. So let's go ahead and get changed. And we are changed into a comfy t-shirt. I'm gonna keep on my leggings. I'm actually gonna take off my socks because the no-show socks drive me crazy if I don't have shoes on, but I just have on my comfy cozy merch shirt. It's always linked down below if you wanna check it out. This one just says daydreamer. I'm obsessed with it. <sighs> anyway, now that I'm home, I have to get all of the Christmas stuff done. I have my cute little plant here, my cutie plant that I just got. I'm obsessed with her. We need to name her. I don't know what we're gonna name her yet. And I also don't know where I'm gonna put her for right now because I have all my Christmas decor up, so it doesn't really like fit in with the vibe but I know that I'm going to want this out, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it while I still have my Christmas decor up for like the next couple weeks. So we have to find a home for her. And the next thing that I really wanna get done is to uh, wrap all my Christmas presents. I wanna get all the Christmas presents wrapped right now and just get it done with, put them under the Christmas tree. So I wanna show you before I do that, I just wanna like quickly go through and show you everything that we got everybody for Christmas this year. I feel like you always see those videos of, you know, what I want for Christmas or what I got for Christmas, but I really have been seeing a lot of people doing what I gave for Christmas and I thought that was super cool. So I'm gonna show you guys what I I'm giving to other people this Christmas. I have everything laid out on my bed and like sectioned off by people. So this first pile is for Eddie's sister and her boyfriend. So I made them like a little date night basket. Also, by the way, this isn't just like from me. This stuff for Eddie's family is from me and Eddie. And then the stuff for my parents is like from me, Eddie, and my brother. So I just always pick everything out and then they just pitch in some money. But this is what we got Eddie's sister and her boyfriend. Like I said, I got her this cute little bottle of wine. I thought this was so adorable. I just thought it'd be fun for a cute little date night to try a new wine. And here are some little Christmas mugs. I have to figure out how I'm going to wrap this. This is what they look like. They just say cheers on them. I think they're super cute and they're not too Christmassy so that they can use them other times of the year. I'll fix that up nice in a minute, but I got them two wine glasses. This is super cute. I highly recommend this for any couples that you know. They're our moments cards. So they're just different little conversation starters for couples, which I just think is super cute. And I'm actually thinking about buying a pack of these cards for Eddie and I, just because I feel like they're really nice just to talk about things that you might not necessarily think to talk about. I just think it's a fun little at home date night, especially during these COVID times. I really wanted to get them like a fun date night at home. And then I got them this blanket. This I think I might need to buy for myself. It is so soft and so fuzzy. So you can see it has like more fur and then this has like not as much fur. I don't know how to explain it, but you can use it either way. But I just thought it would be so comfy, cozy and cute for their couch. So that's what I got them, a little date night basket. And I think I'm going to put it in this box so that it looks really cute in there. So that is for the both of them. This pile is for Eddie's mom. So we got her some Cadbury eggs. And then I got her a little journal. So we got Eddie's mom and Eddie's dad, the same thing actually. And I've actually bought this for my dad for Father's Day. And I think it's like one of the best gifts to get for your parents because it's something that they can do. It's like a journal with a bunch of different prompts and they can write in it. But then as like the kid, you get to keep, which I think is great. It's like a the gift that keeps on giving because I feel like there's a lot of things about your parents that you don't necessarily know unless some conversation brings it up. And I love knowing things about like my parents and Eddie's parents. So I thought this would be a great thing for them to do together and to give to the kids. So we got them each the father's story, the mother's story, and then some pens to write in it with, which I am just so excited. I think they're going to love this. And then Eddie picked this out for his mom, actually. It's a little Alex and Ani bracelet. It's a little Polar Express bracelet. This is what it looks like. It just says the bell still rings for me and there's a little bell. Super cute and he said that she would love it. So that's the other thing that we got for her. We got Eddie's dad, these little Hershey bills and this thing that has to do with um, an alcohol brand. It's just like a collectible. So we got him that. And then this is for my brother. So I just wanted to get my brother a little something 
I'm a big mug person. So I found this on Amazon actually. I just thought it was so cool. I thought he would love it for coffee. Him and I are like big coffee people. And so I got him this, I think he put hot coffee, cold coffee, and it just, I don't know, it just looks really, really cool. And then I also got him in this bag. There's also a Starbucks gift card that I got him because him and I both just love Starbucks. These two gifts are actually gifts that Eddie picked out for his friends. So those are just gonna go over there. I'm just gonna wrap them for him. And then I have gifts for my dad. I picked out, my dad loves Eternity. He's worn this for as long as I can remember. It's the best scent for guys. I love it so much and it just reminds me of my dad, but he always can use more of this. So I got this cute little gift set for him because I know he likes to keep the smaller one in his car. So he has the big one, the small one, and then this is aftershave balm. So has a whole little kit. And then I picked him out two dress shirts that I thought he would like. So this one is a quarter zip long sleeve. He loves pullovers like this. So I just got him a little pullover that he can wear to work. And then I love this shirt. My brother wasn't as into it for my dad, but I thought this was so cute. I feel like I should not be saying the word cute to describe men's clothes, but I just, it looked like something my dad would really like to wear. And I really liked it for him. I just thought it would look really, really nice. I picked him out these and then where I got both of them from, they had these like layered together which I thought also looked really nice so got him those two dress shirts I'm hiding Eddie's gift in here because he's still around and I don't want him to see what I got him we didn't really do Christmas gifts this year because we did a bunch of wedding stuff like he got me my wedding band and that was kind of a big purchase so I didn't want him to buy me anything really for Christmas and we just decided mutually that it was like more beneficial for us to not really spend a ton on Christmas for each other, but I just picked him out this. I don't want to say exactly what it is because he's right in the other room and I don't want him to hear, but you guys can obviously see what it is. It's just a little, it's a little pullover quarter step and he really likes these for work also and to go work out in. So I just picked him up one of those. It's in hiding for right now until he leaves and I can wrap it. All right, last person is my mom. I love what I got my mom. Actually, she might be, besides these books that we got Eddie's parents, this might be like the favorite thing that I picked out. So I just got her a pair of basic leggings and then this cute sweater, which is so soft and so cozy. I just thought she would like it. She loves sweaters and leggings like this. So I just picked up this tan sweater for her, so soft. She wanted a little sterling silver chain. So I just got that for her because I knew she wanted it. And this is what I'm most excited about. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because I know that she's around and I don't want her to hear. But this is a gel nail kit that I got off of Amazon. This thing is so cool. This is what it looks like. I am either going to buy one of these for myself or I'm just going to always be using hers because I am so obsessed with this. I have my own gel kit, but it is nothing like this. It has the big light. It comes with a whole kit of stuff to prep your nails with. I mean, it literally comes with everything. I love this so much and then it comes with a ton of different nail polishes already so it's kind of like a starter kit and then she can always buy more colors if she wants different options but I know that it had like a couple of pale pink options in there that she normally wears on her nails and she's been really into wanting to do more with her nails and not like go get them done every week. I always see her painting them and it takes the paint forever to dry. So this is gonna be so nice. I actually already used it. This is so bad, but I only used it because it's my mom's gift. So I tried it out the other night just to see like how good it actually was and if she'd actually really like it and really want to use it. It is so amazing, like highly recommend. You guys go check it out. My hands are also super orange because I self tanned, but it is so amazing, like super high quality. It reminds me of a gel kit, like if you were to go get your nails done at a salon. So highly recommend, I think she's going to love it. I'm going to use it all the time with her and I just think it's really, really perfect for her or for anybody that goes and gets their nails done all the time. It's just so nice and so convenient to be able to have it here and do it on your own. I have some tissue paper. This is the wrapping paper I'm gonna use from Target. I only have these two bags because I really want to go with a theme this year and I thought those look cute together. And then I just have a bunch of boxes that I'm going to use and I'm going to go ahead and start my wrapping let's go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want 
is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh I'm making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close Wow, what are you doing? I'm trying to wrap presents, you keep getting in the way What is that all about, huh? Why you keep doing that? Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And then while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend I just realized day it has been a while since I updated you guys on anything. I still have yet to finish wrapping presents. I was wrapping my presents for literally like an hour. It is taking me forever and I still have maybe like two or three more presents that I need to wrap. So I'll probably get that done in a little bit. But my mom was down here making cookies. So I helped out kind of sort of a little bit. She always makes fun of me because... She says, I don't really help, I just supervise. I just like to be around when the cookies are being made. So she made the cutouts. I helped with like the very end of these. I was so sad that she did them all without me, but she did the cutouts. We just have to icing these. I don't know if we'll get to do that tonight. And then I just went ahead and made all of our Buckeyes. So we just are waiting for these to freeze and then we'll, you know, fix up the tops. So we have our Buckeyes. We have our cutouts that we need to finish up. I I don't know if we'll end up getting to icing those tonight. And then we always make Oreo balls, so good. And then uh, peanut butter blossoms. So those are all of our Christmas cookies. I've just been kind of hanging out on the couch and watching Netflix. I just literally finished those Buckeyes. So I am just watching Netflix on the couch. Probably going to be here for a little bit longer. And then eventually I'll get back up and go finish wrapping. And maybe icing those cookies tonight. But honestly, I am not entirely sure if that will get done tonight but i also really want to watch a christmas movie tonight so i think that might be the move i'm currently in the process of getting ready for bed doing my nighttime skincare routine i just put on some retinol serum doing my moisturizer i couldn't tell you the last time that i picked up the camera to be completely honest i just kind of forgot that i was vlogging and have been hanging out for the rest of the night i got all of my christmas presents wrapped finally you can probably see them in the back. They are all wrapped. There was one that I had to wrap in different wrapping paper because I ran out of my wrapping paper on the last box. I was so upset, but they all look super cute. I can't believe tomorrow is Christmas Eve. What in the world? December honestly went so fast. I can't even believe it, but tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Putting on my Curology serum december has just flown by honestly and i cannot believe that tomorrow is christmas eve we're going to see eddie's parents tomorrow for christmas but besides that we really don't have a ton going on and this might actually be my last vlog for like holiday or festive related videos still slightly undecided but i really just want to be present and in the moment and I feel like that's something that I have struggled with in the later half of 2020. So I really just want to take the next couple of days and spend time with family and just relax and hang out with everybody. I feel like I'm always working or doing something like on my computer or something YouTube related or whatever it might be. I just feel like I'm always working and I really just want to take the next couple of days and just not think about it and relax and honestly just take a step back from all of that stuff. So. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Christmas haul. I typically do. Not sure if I'll do that this year or not. I'm just kind of undecided. We will see how it goes. But putting on my scar oil update on my scar. If you guys know I got surgery, oh what, maybe two months ago now or almost two months ago, I got surgery to get my salivary gland out. And it was like really bumpy there for a while, but the bumpiness has gone down. But now 
as you can see like it's definitely red like there's like a good solid line there it's actually really weird and cool all in the same way it doesn't really bother me or anything because my hair usually hides it but like for when i get married and stuff i obviously hope that the redness goes away for then but yeah that's pretty much what we got going on just need to put on my hand lotion and then, and then i am going to crawl into bed for the night bed my bed is all made and i'm going to crawl into bed now i'm gonna get my laptop because i want to watch a christmas movie since we're nearing the end of the holiday season i just want to get in all the christmas movies that i can i think i'm going to watch holiday again i already watched that movie on netflix but it was just so good and so cute so i'm going to pull up holiday on my laptop and i'm just gonna watch that for the rest of the night and then head to bed that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to subscribe by clicking down below and leave me a comment i have been loving chatting with you guys this month it seriously makes my day commenting back and forth with you guys so make sure that you leave me a comment down below and i will see you all in my next video bye guys Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh